We've just completed the full review of the Acer Aspire Switch 12 Alpha, the brand new 2016 model with the liquid cooled Core i5 inside. Uh, there's a review video up on the website as well. But what I've been doing here is just putting these two devices side by side. And this on the right here is a Lenovo 710 with a Core M5 inside, about a kilo in weight. This is a couple of hundred grams or more, but it's got the full Core i5 with a 15 watt TDP and that liquid uh, heat spreader inside. It's really interesting to see uh, what's happened in this test. This rendering test done with PowerDirector in exactly the same project with a couple of fades, some titling as well. Runs between 6 and 11 minutes and really puts the devices into a very warm mode where down clocking, throttling really takes effect. And you can see that in the results here because on the um, Lenovo 710 here we've got 11 minutes 55 rendering time. Just see if I can zoom in on that. 11 minutes uh, 55 rendering time. We go over to this uh, Acer Switch 12 Alpha, 6 minutes 47. That's 1.7 times faster than the Core M5. Um, the really interesting thing about this is that Acer are bringing this in at 800 euros as well. I'm not sure if that is the Core i5 version at 800 euros. I think it is with 4 gigs of RAM, but you can go up to 8 gigs of RAM and a 256 gig SSD in here as well. So it's fanless. It does get a bit warm in the back under rendering, just around here. Uh, but that's probably not going to worry you if you really need to get a job done quickly. And if you're in the field doing some video rendering, and this is full HD, 50 frames a second uh, video, this is a really interesting device. This versus the Surface Pro 4 would be a fantastic uh, comparison. It's a little bit heavier than the you know, uh, Yoga 710 here, and of course it is a two-in-one rather than a single unit um, fold-back screen type device like the 17. I actually prefer these style of devices, it keeps things a little bit more together. They're not going to fall apart if you start running around with them. But USB-C in here and Y-Ging in here makes it to really, really interesting. It's also got pen cap stylus capability as well. So check out the full review of the Acer Switch 12 Alpha, the 2016 version with the water-cooled, well they call it the cooling loop, liquid loop on the uh, Core i5 15 watt TDP CPU. Lenovo 710 is not quite reaching the market yet, it's due out I think in a matter of weeks so you'll see the review from us pretty soon on that as well. Thumbs up if you got something out of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to get notifications of more videos and check out all our reviews on notebookcheck.net and notebookcheck.com, the German version. Thanks for watching. My name's Chippy. Chippy, we'll see you on the next video. This is the Lenovo Yoga 710. It's a 11.6 inch 2 in 1 convertible uh, being launched in about a month or two, in fact.